Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nathan and I'm currently a first year medical student. Today I'm starting a new series that I'm calling Med Ed Shorts. Essentially they're going to be short lessons where I'm educating about some medical or health topic. So without further ado, let's get into today's lesson. All right, hello everyone. Today our lesson is going to be an intro to the transthoracic echocardiogram. Right. The goals of this lesson are to first of all, describe what is a transthoracic echocardiogram. Secondly, to think about what are the different views in a transthoracic echocardiogram. And third, to see what structures are visualized. All right, so what is a transthoracic echocardiogram or transthoracic echo for short? So first of all, there are different echo types. There's TTE, which is what we're going to be talking about today, but there's also 3D transthoracic echo where you can see in three dimensions what you're imaging. There's intracardiac echo where you're essentially uh, probing from inside the heart using a catheter. There's M mode, which allows you to actually take measurements. There's transesophageal where essentially you're using the probe from inside the esophagus. And then lastly, there's Doppler echo where you can visualize blood flow. And so really the benefits for transthoracic echo is that first of all, it's a non-invasive uh, test you're using to visualize the heart. And secondly, it's also widely available. All right, so now that we know what a transthoracic echo is, let's think about what are the different positions and axes. So the transducer is the device that you're emitting the ultrasound waves from. And there's different positions you can place them. And so you can have the parasternal position, which is you place it in the third or fourth left intercostal space. And then you also have views from the apex of the heart, subcostal, and suprasternal. Today, I'm really going to be focusing on the parasternal views. So there's sort of two different kinds of axes with the parasternal view. Uh, we have the parasternal long axis, or PLAX, which you, this is sort of showing how we get that Im image. And then if you turn the probe about 90 degrees, you get what's called the parasternal short axes. And so you can place the probe then at different levels of the heart, and you can visualize the valves, essentially, the different valves, by like looking at the different levels. So you have the aortic level, the mitral level, and the apex. Um, and those are all the different levels of the parasternal short axis. Okay, so let's start with the parasternal long axis. What are the different structures we can see? So first I wanna sort of orient you. This is at the top here is where the transducer uh, is located. And the reason that the right ventricle is located mostly anterior is because if you remember anatomy of the heart, the right side of the heart lies more anterior. So that's why we see that at the top here. So we're, we're able to see the right ventricle uh, as well as the interventricular septum, left ventricle, left atrium. We're also able to see the aortic valve and mitral valve, and then the posterior wall. One thing I wanna point out with this view is that we're not able to visualize the right atrium. And that's because the right atrium is lying just outside of the view where this is showing. All right, so next moving into the parasternal short axis views. So first uh, you'll notice in the aortic valve level at the top here, more towards the base of the heart, we're able to visualize different structures and the important one here is the aortic valve. And so here you can see where the aortic valve lies. Then at the mitral valve level, we get to image uh, right here. See, this is where the mitral valve corresponds to. And now at the mid papillary level, you actually are able to visualize some of the papillary muscles. So that's what corresponds here. And that's what we're seeing here. All right, and one other important view that we can have with the parasternal short axis is what's called the right ventricular outflow tract. And so this is important for seeing how blood is flowing into the pulmonary artery. So here we see this right ventricular outflow tract, 
pulmonary valve and the main pulmonary artery. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about peristernal short axis view as well. All right, so in summary, what did we talk about today? So we learned about the different types of echocardiogram. We learned that transthoracic echo has different transducer positions and axes. And specifically, the parasternal long axis help us to visualize chambers of the heart. And then the parasternal short axis help us to visualize the valves. And so I know that's a lot. Uh, echocardiograms can be confusing, but hopefully uh, you know enough at this point that you won't be in this position. All right, so these are my references if you want to learn more. So like and subscribe and looking forward to seeing you all soon.